Hi, um, in this video we're going to look at uploading resources for your um, LCD signage. Um, at this stage you should have already installed the signage software, um, installed Flash Player and enabled it for your browser. Um, and once you log into the software you should see this page, the home page. Um, you will be able to click on resources here in the middle of the home page or up here on the files. Um, so we're just going to click that. Um, you will see under resources that there are files, RSS and templates. We're going to be looking at files in this video, which is your pictures, videos, uh, PDFs and music. Um, you can just dump stuff into what they term here the root folder, like uh, you can see here that I've done. Um, but the more resources you get, um, the longer it's going to take to find things. So we're going to uh, look at organizing that right now. Um, so we can create a new folder within the root folder just by clicking on new and then give it a name and you may want to have a folder for videos and maybe one for music um, within those folders you can then have more folders so within pictures you may want to have a folder for so student photos now if your folder name is too long when you click ok you'll get this exclamation mark here um, all we're going to do is go back and shorten that a little bit and then we're going to create one for staff so you can see we've got folders within folders um, and some good structure here just like you would in windows um, now that we've done that, we can um, upload some content. So I'm going to choose Staff Picks. And we're going to click on Upload in this main window. Um, now the first time you do this, um, after opening Chrome, you'll see this F. We just click on that F and then click Allow. Um, that resets this folder, so we're just going to go back to where we want to put our uh, pictures into. And click Upload again. And now you'll see a browsing folder. Now we're just going to browse to where you want the content to be. So I've already found my content, um, IDSv6 content. Um, and then we're just going to click on a handful of uh, files we want. Now if you hold down the control button, um, you can click on individual files without selecting the ones in between. And then click open and you'll see them load up here and then we're just going to click upload to upload them into that folder now you'll see here that we've got an upload failed so if I click here um, you will see that this one here has not uploaded um, the reason for that is that it's just got too long a um, name so we go back and find that one and then um, shorten the name and re-upload it I'm not going to do that right here um, so once you've got your files uploaded you'll see um, we've got our three files here um, and then you can start using them now you can edit these from here so if I highlight one with a, a tick um, I can edit its name and its description and its category and location um, and you can also delete things uh, verify that they work with the software or re-download them back to your computer as I mentioned, um, you can organize and move things around within here. So if we go back to our root folder, um, we can click the tick boxes on a handful of items, uh, click edit. And from here within um, multiple items, you can change the category or its location. So we click on the location and then we can go through and find the folder we want them to be in and click OK and you'll see that those have moved. Um, you can also um, arrange things across the top here by picture, video or audio. Um, so if we go back to our root folder and I click on video, you will see there are three videos that I can select from. Um, you can also um, select by category. So if you've got multiple categories, you can select the category and you'll see just the ones in your category. Um, that really sums up the basics of um, importing resources. Um, it's the same for your videos and for your music. Um, and uh, we will move on to other resources in another video. 
Thank you very much.